I love the power of three. Better yet, it's also known as the rule of three. Think about it, right? Good things come in threes, right? Bad things sometimes come in threes. Three is easy for us to remember. We can kind of bundle it together. Our brains can kind of handle it a little bit. Think about it this way. Ready, set, go. Three, right? Stories. Stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, my brain can take that. A joke, right? Think about it. All great jokes have three. A priest, a rabbi, and a politician walk into a bar. That's three, right? Three is easy for us to get. We use it in teaching. We teach our children. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, look, and listen. Okay. My brain's at ease now. Right? I get this. Okay. We also can use three to inspire. Right? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I feel pretty good, right? Better yet, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now we're talking, right? There we go. Right? All in three. Three. Well, I got about five, ten minutes or so with you guys right now, so we're going to do two. Everyone's better with two? All right? And I only want you to remember two things. Two things at the end of this talk today. Be curious and take the risk. Be curious and take the risk. Hello, Cecilia. Good evening, Professor Connors and Lynn University. Tell us a joke. An AI algorithm walks into a bar and says, I'll have what everyone else is having. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Well, I want to tell you a quick few stories here. I want to tell you the story of how I met Cecilia. Well, this involves some light stalking on social media, particularly from two individuals in Israel. Uh-oh, thank you, Cecilia. All right. And this happened in, right around this time of year, about two years ago, uh, 2021. We were coming out of the kind of pandemic. We're slowly but surely getting used to it. And again, there's a little bit of light stalking back and forth. And I said, yeah, sure. I'd love to meet with you guys. This sounds real interesting. So we have the first artificial intelligence bartender. We're going to revolutionize the mixology, the hospitality. I said, huh, wait a minute here. Let me think about this, all right? I thought about it, actually invited a few of my colleagues and said, hey, we're going to go meet these two guys with funny accents from Israel at the Intercontinental Hotel. You want to join me? Sounds good, Connors. We'll... And did they show up? No. So there I am in a penthouse with two former military funny-talking guys from Israel, by the way, they're great guys, and a seven-foot-tall, thank you, redhead named Cecilia, and this looked like a bad Miami Vice drug bust. If tell me about it. It's just all the pieces were not in line here. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So we get talking, and they do a demo, and they show us how it all works, and my brain kicks on. I'm like, wait a minute here. We got something. We're coming out of COVID. We had some challenges in the world. We had a labor challenge. We had this kind of people didn't want to touch each other. Everyone remember that, right? Stay by. All right. Well, I said, hey, you know, the names were Mir and Aladdin. I said, guys, have you ever heard of the uh, South Beach Wine and Food Festival? Happens every year. They said, oh, yeah, of course they do, right? I said, would you guys like to bring Cecilia to the South Beach Food and Wine Festival with us? They said, well, that sounds like a great idea. And it began. Then I needed to do what? I needed to go sell the story to bring a robot to the beach. Who the hell wants to bring a robot to the beach? So with a little bit of lobbying, of course, in higher education, a lot of lobbying, Partners, a lot of lobbying again. And trust me when I tell you this, I got pushback. People thought I was crazy. What are you trying to do? You're trying to take our jobs? What are you, why are you trying to do this? Better yet, my favorite as of late, what's the ROI, the return on the investment? I'm like, wait a minute, you're not looking at this the right way. So I began to paint the picture of what it would be like to take a robot to the beach. So we got all of our ducks in a row. We put together a fantastic strategy on how we are going to go out and change, better yet, enhance the hospitality experience. Uh -huh. So what did we do? We brought her to the South Beach Food and Wine Festival. You see her there. We had a land, a line down the sand. Everyone wanted to meet Cecilia, but the story gets better. Before we even had her on the beach, where is she? There she is. Look how happy she is. 
she became a media sensation. So again, one day, it was actually a Sunday, the phone rang and it said, yeah, Fox News want to talk to you. I said, sure, I'd love to talk to Fox News. Right? Reached out, it said, we'd love to have you on Fox and Friends this week. Okay, so we set it up and we began to tell our story on how embracing technology, how embracing this level of artificial intelligence will enhance the guest experience. We can help with the labor shortage. We can help tell the story. And it worked. Suddenly, the Today Show called. Hey, we love to do a piece right on the beat. That's our old friend Terry Sanders there. And talk about exactly what you're doing and how it's going to impact the hospitality industry. How it's going to impact the beverage industry. And boy, did she show up. And still today, she is still making that same media sensation that I bet on two years ago. Be curious, take the risk. Be curious, take the risk. And even as of a month or so ago, she was featured up in Orlando talking about the same thing. How we are enhancing the overall experience. How we are helping the beverage industry. I love numbers, you know, because numbers don't lie. And this is some of my favorite numbers. And at the end of our experience, oh, about uh, two years ago or so now, um, these are just some of the numbers. These are real numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Earn Media, which is a big thing in our world, she was just shy of $118,000 per day. 118000 in Earn Media. And the hits and the audience kept on growing. We knew we had something. But still, people began to understand and also embrace. So they started combining things like chat GPT and talking to us about that and how that's going to change the world and how this is going to impact. I said, well, wait. Industry, look what we did. Embrace it. Understand it. So about a, so six months or seven months ago, we had a group in from the UK. And they said, well, let's challenge this. And we had Cecilia with us. We were challenging the artificial intelligence space. And they said, well, let's create a cocktail program. Let's create a menu. And we took the information from the crowd. And within seconds, we created the framework for a cocktail program, including recipes, including costs in pounds and in dollars, pushed it a little bit further, and then incorporated a menu, same thing, standardized recipes, all done real time, within seconds. And what people didn't realize is that, is it going to be perfect? No, no. artificial intelligence. Is it going to get every nuance to every bit of a cocktail program, every bit on a menu? No, but what it does give you is a framework. And that framework will then help you go and save time. Better yet, that is time that could be spent with your guests. That's what people need to embrace here, that the ability to save that time can create a better guest experience. That is key. AI will remember that favorite cocktail. AI can remember to upsell. That's a big one, where a lot of times a human might forget or may not feel comfortable upselling a particular product or service, or hey, remember that is your money. Well, AI can do that for you. It can remember the dates. It can remember the time. Better yet, it can keep better data analytics. With better data analytics, better information, you can make a better decision as a business leader. Embrace it. It begins to make a whole lot of sense. So, the big takeaways here. Be curious, not judgmental, said Walt Whitman and Ted Lasso. Take the risk. I love this. A calculated risk are risks with a plan. Have the plan, put it in action, and it'll work every single time. What do you need to do? Be curious, take the meeting. Be curious, take the risk. Put something new out there that no one else has thought of, and you will change the perception. One last thing. I managed to teach you something three times. Thank you very much.